I think it's time for an adventure. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for all the kind words, comments, the likes. It's it's a strange game, this YouTube game, and I guess it's quite hard to get going. But you're all being so lovely, and that's that's really encouraging. Anyway, like I said, I think it's time for an adventure. I have big plans for today's episode, but there are a few things that we need first, and. We're going to have to go off into the world to find them. Oh, well, this is one of them. A swamp. Something I've yet to find is slime. But I guess it's daytime right now, so we'll have to wait till nighttime. But I'll grab some of this. Let's not forget our boat. Now, I don't know if the Terraforge mod will affect the spawning of slimes. This is still a swamp. It's quite a lovely swamp, actually. It doesn't have that dirty brown biome colour that vanilla has. Oh, yeah, I'll have these. I've always liked the blue orchids. But we're not here to pick flowers, and not even really here for slime, although slime would be handy. What I am looking for is a heart of the sea. See, I, I made a, a data pack where the heart of the sea works like a magnet. Which I think is kind of law friendly. The heart of the sea is such a rare, obscure object anyway, that it seems fitting for it to have a special power. I mean, there are magnet mods, which I could have just installed, but I quite like this. It's kind of vanilla friendly. Um, but yeah, I want a magnet. Oh, sea pickles. Look at the lighting under here. This is so beautiful. I love these shaders. These are probably the best shaders. That sunset reflecting on the ocean. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> oh, okay then. Guardian Temple. Um, I am not ready to tackle this right now. But it's good to know it's here. Oh. And a coral reef too. I don't really need any coral. And for the sake of realism, let's, let's not go chopping up the coral reef. They are precious. I watched a documentary recently about reefs. And this team recorded time-lapse footage of reefs around the world bleaching. I don't know. It, it made me sad. But troubles of the world aside, we're on an adventure. A quest you might say, to find the heart of the sea. We'll come back for you. But what is this? A broken portal? Yeah, it is. Maybe there's a chest. Oh, that's interesting. I guess when the water's near the magma blocks, it makes steam. That's a cool effect. We'll have to find a way to use that in our builds, I think. Well, it's all good stuff. Nothing too exciting, but I'll take it. Back to the open ocean. Oh, maybe that's a drowned temple. Oh, no. Just a ravine. That's so cool, though. I definitely think since the update Aquatic, the oceans are just so much more fun to explore. Especially with shaders. I, mean, I, ho I hope this translates well to YouTube, but it's such atmosphere. You really feel closed in being under the water. Well, I'm not finding any shipwrecks or drowned temples, but... 
Sticking close to the shore like this, finding quite a few potential seaside towns. I know I've yet to start work on the spawn villages, but that is the goal. The locations of the towns and villages are set by the world gen, and we're just going to upgrade them, give them their own identities. I'm definitely stealing this. I don't have a stable food source yet, so this is mine. In like 40 or 50 episodes, somebody remind me this seaside village exists. And we'll come back here. We'll turn it into something. Something lovely. Hmm. Oh, hello. Do you know where I can find a shipwreck? Because I'm not having the best luck. <laughs> well, that definitely sounded like no. Oh, it is wonderfully peaceful, though. Just sailing the open ocean. Oh, that looks lovely at night time. Look at the moonlight. I, I, feel like, I feel like we're a thief or a, a rogue right now, sneaking around this village at night time. Skulking in from the ocean whilst everyone else is asleep. Nope. Well, I guess we get back in our boat. Oh, excuse you. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the best way. Maybe we should get a map from a cartographer. That would be a lot easier. Okay. Well, let's go back. What? That is so typical. Actually ridiculous. Oh well. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Please say there's a heart of the sea. No. Suspicious stew. Perfect. So I was on my way home. But look. I'm pretty sure that's a pillager outpost. And I don't know if I've ever been inside one in survival. I have no idea what the loot is like in the chests, or even if there is a chest. So I think we go find out. Hello. It's pretty empty. There's not anything here. Oh, there we go. What have we got? Oh, okay. I mean, we do have a mending villager, but yeah, that was worth it. Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, we just got a crossbow, so let's give this a try. You just broke our shoes. Let's just go home. Oh, it's so nice to be home. Well, that didn't go as planned. But I'm not giving up. We don't have any boots now, but we did get that mending book. And I'm not sure where I got this, but I also have a Feather Falling 4 book. So I think a little bit more villager trading, get Protection 4 book, another unbreaking, get ourselves some decent diamond boots, a map from our cartographer, and head back out. And this will be so much easier. This is the wrong kind of map. This is an ocean monument map, not a treasure map. Oh, you blatantly knew that and probably laughing at me. Oh well. Maybe we'll take up that quest again another time. It's, it's not a fail, it's just on hold. Because there are other things I plan to do today. Big plans. I think it's time 
we finally start on the village. I don't want to rush this. This is a large project and it's not going to be done all in one episode, but we can start planning what needs to be done to turn this village into something with history and identity. Something with story. I like the basic shape of the village. It kind of horseshoes around the central area, backed up against the forest. It, there's a few houses down by the river and up on the hill, but it's all quite centrally located around that middle area. We should probably demolish all of the houses that are there and plan out exactly what's going where. There was a blacksmith already in the village, so I think that needs replacing and given that it's by the forest, probably should be a lumber mill powered by the river. Now I do love the way the Terraforge mod handles rivers, snaking through the landscape, but they kind of just stop. Realistically this would be fed by a forest stream or a babbling brook. So before any building, we're going to need to add some realism and snake a few streams through the forest. And I think whilst we're in here, we'll just add more natural atmosphere. I know it's Minecraft lore to have these giant mushrooms in the dark oak forest, but I don't think they're going to fit with what we're going for. So I think getting rid of all of these is a good first step. I can't demolish the houses yet because I we still have villages. And relocating those guys is going to be a proper pain. So step one, defungify the forest. Well, we got a ton of these mushroom blocks from that. The brown ones we may end up using in the future for texture variation, but the red ones are just kind of ugly. But I don't know, I'll keep them anyway. Because you never know what we're going to build in the future. They may actually work with something. But yeah, look at that. Forest defungified. Now... I need to move these villages. I have no idea where we're going to put them. Come on, mate. Oh, oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Good boy. <laughs> oh, these guys. That actually wasn't so bad. Having the river so close and this other village just downriver kind of worked out perfectly. We've got like, what, five more villages in that village to move before we can demolish all the buildings, but I'll get it done. Set them up in their lovely new home down here, in this forest village, until we come along and renovate this one, and I have to move them all back. There you go. Be safe. See you soon.
It feels good having made a start on this project. And I'm not going to rush it. I think taking my time and putting genuine thought into everything we do in this series is worth more. And hopefully following the process and experiencing my thought process and why we're doing things the way we are and at the pace we are. Hopefully that's something that you guys will appreciate. And, you know, hundreds of episodes from now when this world is full with towns and villages and all the life that we've poured into it, it'll feel more like we earned it, you know. We watched it grow and it took time. And that's something that I appreciate. And who knows? Maybe you do too. Anyway. With the old village cleared out and the fungus removed from the forest, I feel like we're in a good place to start planning our new village. But I think we'll save that for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed our adventure, even if it was a fail. And we'll definitely complete that quest soon, maybe next time. But for now, before I go, of course there's something that I like and want to share with you. You know, there always is. And there's so much in the world to enjoy. I'm sure I'll never run out of things to recommend to you guys, but for this one, and I'm sure many of you have already seen it, but for those of you that haven't, Wolf Children, this very Ghibli-esque but not Ghibli anime movie is probably one of the most beautiful films I've ever watched. The brief concept is basically single mother has to raise two children who are half wolf which is a cute gimmick but fundamentally it's a film that really shows how strong a mother's love can be and how she'll do anything she can to take care of her children and I, I don't know I just thought that was so sweet so lovely definitely had a little wholesome cry to that one anyway if you haven't already watched it Please give it a go, it's, it's beautiful. And we need more beauty in this world. Speaking of, I'm going to get working on this village, planning it out, trying to turn it into something really quite special. Maybe we can make something beautiful too. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.